Good morning, you guys, and welcome to today's very first Modern Horizons booster box break, being a draft booster. I hope you guys are all excited. I have yet to see a, a draft booster open. I have uh, seen set boosters open. I've opened three collector boosters myself, not for me, but for a friend. Uh, he said I had all the luck, and I mean, I only helped him complete like 75% of the collection, but it's all good. Um, yeah, I mean, this is gonna be pretty sweet. Let's have some fun doing this. I'm working on getting you guys tagged in here, so just work with me for a second. If everything looks good, it sounds good, then that is good. I just need Facebook to help me out here. <laughs> oh, and happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday for sure. You know, I hope y'all are excited for F&Ms, since we can now play again. <laughs> All right. Come on, Facebook. All right, okay, okay. Why does it even do that? Okay, got Matt in here. Getting Keaton worked on right now. Let's... Okay, there we go. Got Keaton. David Cancian. Brenton Drake. Okay, I don't know why it did that. Me, no, no, and Koi. There we go. Can't forget everybody. Oh, man. All five of you. All right. Got that set up. Got everybody tagged in here. Now let's go ahead and roll over to our randomizer and get the party started. All right, seven. Let's go. Let's get it. Boom, there we go. No, no double stack for Keaton today. Still, I think we all gonna pull some fire today, so. Whether it be here, whether it be the set boosters, I think we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> you know what's funny, Matt, is uh, on the on your comment that you said you're to, it says C translation. I want to see what the translation says. It's Turkish for your. Like legit. They added an R for the translation. That's hilarious. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and get this box open. I did kind of grab it a little funky this morning. That was on me, but you see the wizard stamps all over it. So just want y'all to know that. I got another box that, because they sit in the case long ways, it's got like this, the little slit right there from cutting the case open. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure if that's uh, Turkish. <laughs> All right. guy out of here. Move that back, move that back. As you guys know, it is six stacks of six. All right, just give it a little, give it a nice little mix. Can't forget about the middle. All right, divide everything up. Everybody gets six packs. Squeaky, squeaker squeak. Put that 
There are three, four, five, six. Spot one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last two stacks. We're gonna go ahead and put that there. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that gets everybody started up. Right. I mean, without further ado, let's uh, get this party started. Stack one, going over to Koi. Here we go. Good luck to each and every one of you. I hope you all pull magnificent fire. All right, who took my scissors? You know what? I'm not going to say who took my scissors. It's because I put them in the drawer right here. At the end of the day, I clean, clean the office. All right. Once again, good luck to everybody. Let's pull some fire and have fun doing it. All right, we're going to go through, you know, a pack a person. All right. All right. We got a smell fear. So shiny. A revolutionist, hell mongrel, blacksmith skill, guilt blade prowler, glimmer baron. We got a faithless salvaging sketch, jade avenger, arrow amoeba, and to the uncommons we got a strike it rich, power depot, violent tumor. First rare is a mythic rare imperial recruiter. All right, starting off on fire. Oh, man, followed by an obsidian charmal. Got a Durgan. Here we go. And we got a clue token. I'm over here turning around like it's a collector's bag. What? <laughs> Pack two. Skipping through the commons now. Like I said, I'm going to go through the commons for each each individual person. Goblin Trap Runner, Ravenous Squirrel, Tide Shaper, Next Rare, oh wait, Yo, that was like a lot of them. Scourge Familiar, there we go. Sithis, Harvest Hand, two drop, green, white, one, two. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you gain a life and draw a card. That's pretty cool. That's a nice card. Foil Glimmer Baron, and a Beast Token. Pack three. Let's get it. Skip it through the commons. We've got Arcbound Shikari Sketch. We've got a Batterbone. Arcbound Whelp. Milliken. And then, nice, an Urza Saga. Uh, da 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 da. Urza Saga free? Honestly, I haven't really looked much at Urza Saga. Urza Saga gains tap and add a colorless. Urza Saga gains pay two, tap, create a zero, zero, colorless construct, blah, blah, blah. This creature gets a plus one for each artifact. Three, search your library for an artifact card with mana cost zero or one. Put it on the battlefield and shuffle. Whoa. I think that's pretty cool with an insect token. Mm. Pack four. <laughs> Fun little draft card right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, still Galvanic Relay. Let's see. All right, here we go. Underworld Cookbook. Captain Ripley Vance. An Underworld Hermit. Followed by a Soul Snare into a Nettle, si nettle Cyst. Three drop artifact equipment, living weapon. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, you create a 0 0 black Phyrexian germ create, uh, token and attach it to it. Uh, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one for each artifact and or enchantment you control. 
And it's got equip for two. And we got a food token. Not gonna flip it over, because it's not a double-sided token. Skipping through the commons. We've got a Timeless Witness, play or Flay Essence, Flame Blitz, Angelic Curator, into an Eve Progenitor Ooze. It's a 5 drop, 3 green, and 2, 2, 2 legendary creature ooze with Storm. Uh, it isn't legendary if it is a token, and whenever it enters the battlefield with a plus one counter, or it enters the battlefield with a plus one counter for each ooze you control. So that's what ooze trigger after ooze trigger, almost. Vectus Gloves foil with a treasure token. We got a Squirrel Sanctuary, Lucid Dreams, Barbed Spike, and a Goblin Bombardment 2-drop enchantment. Sacrifice a creature, Goblin Bombardment deals 1 damage to any target. A Sanctifier Envec, your 2-drop, white, white. Uh, Human Cleric 2-2, protection from Pro Red and Black. Uh, when an ETBs exile all cards that are... Oh, yeah, this is the one with... Uh, it's like basically rest in peace on a stick. And pro red and black. Pretty sweet card. And a Thopter. Nice first stack, though, you guys. I'll give it that. Got an Imperial Recruiter in there. You got a Durgan. There's a Saga. Keeping it going. Into stack two. Going over to Keaton Webley. Good luck to you. Make sure I ain't cutting the tops of cards off. Of course, Koi. All right, Keaton, going through the first pack with you. You got a Steel Fin Whale, Crack Open, Arcbound Tracker, World Weary Sketch, Unbounded Potential, Loathsome Curator, Phantasmal, Phantasmal Dreadmaw, not Colossal Dreadmaw, but almost like the same theme to it. Like there's the boat coming around. That's pretty cool. Thorn Glint Bridge. Wave Sifter, and then we got Feast of Sanity, Squirrel Sovereign, Ghostlit Drifter, Yavimaya Elder, into a Territorial Kavu, your two drop red green star star domain. Uh, Territorial Kavu's power and toughness are each equal to the number of basic land types among lands you control. Whenever it attacks, choose one. Discard a card if you do draw a card. Exile to one target card from a graveyard. It's not bad. Arcbound Shikari foil sketched with a treasure token. All right, now we're skipping through some commons. Here we go. Abiding Grace. Mm, that's a good looking photo. Got a brainstorm. So ugly. Mystic Redaction, a counter spell, followed by Search the Premises, your four drop enchantment, a white and three. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, investigate. So you create a, a colorless clue artifact token with pay two, sacrifice, and draw a card. And then a bird token. Whoa. I just realized the. What I put said stack 12. It is not stack 12. I can say that. There is no stack 12. <laughs> All right, next pack. Pack three. Skipping through the commons. Make sure 
Uh, yep. That is also a common. We got a Tide Shaper, Kaleidoscorch, Tireless Provisioner, into an Enchantress's print it, uh, Presence. Wow. Three job. Green and two enchantment. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, draw a card. Whoa, nice pack here. We got a Rise and Shine, two drop sorcery. Target non artifact creature you control becomes a zero zero artifact creature. Put four plus one counters on it on each artifact that became a creature this way. It's also got overload for six. Two blue and four. Then we got a foil fire and ice. Fires two drop instant, deals two damage divided as you choose among one or two targets. Ice, two drop, blue and one instant. Tap target permanent and draw a card. I believe this is also one of those cards that's one or the other. Choose one and do it. Alright, going to pack four. Skipping through your commons. Let's get it. We've got a steel drom dairy. Dromedary. Power Depot. Sorry, I had to like double check that word. Uh, Road to Ruin. Seal of Removal. Into a Profane Tutor. Suspend for two. Um, so you suspend it for two. Paying two. Rather than cast this card from your hand, pay one in a swamp and exile it with two time counters at the beginning of your upkeep. Remove a time counter. When, this, when the last one is removed, cast it without paying its mana cost. Search your library for a card. Put that card into your hand, then shuffle. And then you got a Thopter token. Pack five. Skipping through the commons. We've got Constable of the Realm, Goblin Trap Runner, Ravenous Squirrel Sketched. These sketches are pretty cool. A Fire and Ice non-foil. A Timeless Durgan. Your 5-drop, 2-white, 3-dragon, 5-5 five, five flyer. Plain Cycling for 2. Uh, you can pay 2 and discard it. Search the library for a Plains card. Put it in your hand shelf your deck. Eternalize for 4. And then a Food Token. Right. <laughs> All right, last pack for stack two. Last pack for stack two. Getting the commons out the way. We got a set and done. A Renz Run Hydra. Skyblades Boon. Into a Bone Shredder. And a Bloodblade Marauder. Two drop Human Berserker 3-1. Uh, can't block. Uh, Delirium. The spell has Cascade as long as there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard. Cool little possible ability. Foil of a Dolkin Infiltrator and a Squirrel. Alright. Pretty, uh, pretty sweet little stack right here. That thing is sick looking. Keeping it going though. On to stack three. At Brenton Drake. There we go. Let's get it. Skipping through the commons. Whoa, nope, Brenton Drake. We get to go through yours with you real quick. Gouged Zealot, Mental Journey, Deepwood Denizen, Bone Shards, Break Ties, Glimmer Baron, Faithless Salvaging, Terminal Agony, Chatterstorm, 
into your own commons, we've got a Scurry Oak, Flame Tongue Yearling, Scour the Desert, a Sea Drake in two, Inevitable Betrayal, Suspend three, two blue and one. Uh, exile it with three time counters on it. Y'all know what to do. Search your target opponent's search target opponent's library for a creature card and put that card onto the battlefield under your controller. Under your control. Wow. Uh, then that player shuffles. That's a pretty uh, pretty mean card. Piercing rays and a thopter. I like your deck. Let me check it out and grab a creature from it. <laughs> And it's just a creature card, not a specific type, just a creature. The baddest thing in the deck. What you go for? Lazatep Chancellor, Blazing Root Wallow, Mono Skellion. <laughs> okay. It's like a almost a walking ballista essentially. Except you have to actually pay one to do it. A Nevin Rolls Disc. Woohoo! We haven't seen this since Commander Legends. <laughs> there we go. First dual land of the day with, or dual land fetch land of the day is a Scalding Tarn. Good hit there with a Squirrel Token. There we go. All right, skipping through the commons. There we go. Pack three. We got a Spreading Insurrection, Prophetic Titan, Arc Fiend of Sorrows, into a Vindicate. Three drop, black one, or black one, black one, black white one. Uh, sorcery, destroy target permanent. A Chef's Kiss, two red and one instant. Gain control of target spell that targets only a single permanent or player. Copy it, then reselect the targets at random for the spell and the copy. The new targets can't be you or a permanent you control. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. Radiant Epicure. Next time, though, I got more. More coming. I got my, uh, my Modern Horizons a day early, so... Modern Horizons, and my Pokemon stuff. Alright, skipping through the commons. We've got a Slag Strider, a Sketch Blossoming Calm, a Set and Done, Gorilla Shaman, into a Diamond Lion Retro Frame. Not bad. And a Squirrel Token. I think the diamond line is pretty sweet. Yep, exactly. Pack five, skipping through the commons. We've got Dragons, Rage Chandler, Junk Winder, Winder, Hakdos Redliner, Greed. Into a suspend one drop instant exile target creature and put two time counters on it. If it doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. That's a cool kind of like phase out type of card. Ugh. Last pack, here we go. And oh, and Keaton, you got another spot, bro. You'll be alright. You'll be alright. Skipping through the commons. We've got a Scuttle Tide, Fey Offering, Sanctuary Raptor, Mishra's Factory. There we go. Mythic Rare Solitude. Five drop, two white and three. Mythic Rare. Flash Life Link, Elemental Incarnation. That's a 3 2. Whenever it ETBs, exile up to one other target creature. That creature's controller gains life equal to its power, and you can evoke, exile a white card from your hand. I believe Evoke is the alternate way of paying that. What a way to end that stack, though. That was pretty sweet. Got a, a Scalding Tarn, a Solitude, one of the uh, Elemental Incarnations, that Diamond Lion, sweet in there. Scalding Tarn for sure. 
That was a pretty solid stack, if you ask me. All right, moving on to stack four. Going over to David. No, no world. There we go. All right. All right, first pack with David going through it. We got a Tavern Scoundrel, Hard Evidence, Urban Daggertooth, Hell Mongrel, Fairgrounds Patrol, Discerning Taste, Piercing Rays, Tangle Pool Bridge, Dehadas Ploy, Dark Moss Bridge, into a Liquid Metal, Liquid Metal Torque, Blessed Respite, Arcus Acolyte Sketched, First Rare is an Upheaval, Six Drop Sorcery, Return All Permanents to Their Hands. Nice. Probably one of my favorite cards is Esper Sentinel, the Rhystic Study on a Stick. And that's such a sweet art to it. Like, his armor's sick. So, Rhystic Study on a Stick, everybody. And then a bird. All right, now we're skipping through the commons. Yep, that's a common. We got <laughs> Fast and Furious. Scour the Desert. Arcus Acolyte. Seal of Removal. Your first rare is a Thought Monitor Sketch, which is a 7-drop 2-2... Two -two uh, construct affinity for artifacts flying and when it ETBs you draw two cards. That's a pretty cool sketch though. Burdened aerialist foil and a beast. Let's go. Alright, skipping through the commons. We've got an Arc Fiend of Sorrows. Prophetic Titan sketch. Slag Strider, Gorilla Shaman, into a Persist, two drop sorcery, return target non legendary creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with neg one, neg one counter on it. Meh. And a Crab Token. Skipping through the commons. We've got Altar of the Goyf, Arcbound Javelinier, a Young Necromancer, Lily. Well, it looks like it at least. A Hunting Pack into a Dothy Voidwalker, your two drop black black three two Dothy Rogue with Shadow. It can only be blocked by creatures of Shadow. If a card would be put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, instead exile it with a Void Counter. Tap it, sacrifice the Void Walker, choose an exile card an opponent controls with a Void Walker Void Counter on it. You may play it this turn without paying its mana cost. That's a really good card. And a zombie. Through the commons we go. There we go. We got a glorious enforcer, glinting creeper, a road to ruin sketch. Rare here is a karmic guide. Beautiful angel. Oh, I don't know if y'all just seen that, but I just seen something. We got Master of Death, 3-drop, three 3-1 three Zombie Wizard. When ETB is you Surveil 2, at the beginning of your upkeep, if Master of Death is in your graveyard, you may pay 1 life if you do return it to your hand. All right, next card. 
There we go. Gaia Drone Dihada. Four drop Mythic Rare Planeswalker. Red, black, blue, and one with four loyalty counters on it. Uh, it's pro corruption, or protection from permanence with corruption counters on them. So pro corruption. Plus one, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Uh, put a corruption counter on up to one other target creature or planeswalker. Uh, neg three, gain control of target creature or planeswalker to another turn. Untap it and put a corruption counter on it. It gains haste until end of turn. Neg seven, gain control of each permanent with a corruption counter on it. Wow. That thing is sweet. Good hit right there. Going over to David. David hitting his last pack. By the way, you guys, uh, the local... Uh, okay, uh, Koi and David, you two are the locals in the this break. Your stuff will be there probably around 6.15 tonight. Maybe 6. So you'll be able to grab it at F&M. All right, got the commons out the way. We got Necromancer's Familiar, Steel Dromedary, Combine Christo Chrysalis, a Flame Rift, into a Fractured Sanity. Charles really wants this card. Three drop, blue, blue, blue. Sorcery, each opponent mills 14 cards. And it's got Cycle for two, blue and one. When you cycle it, each opponent mills four cards. That card is nuts. And a Food Token. All right. But what a stack, you guys. What a stack. <laughs> okay, okay, Charles. All right, here we go. We got stack five going back over to Keaton. Come on. There we go. All right, Keaton. Round two for you, man. All right, Keaton, I already read yours to you, so we're just going to skip through your commons. Legion Vanguard. Terramorph. Graceful Restoration. And a Squirrel Mob. One of the rares from my pre-release kit, followed by an unmarked grave. Oh, squirrel mob, three dropping uh, creature squirrel, uh, two green and one. It gets plus one, plus one for each other squirrel on the battlefield, and it's already a two-two. Unmarked grave, two drop sorcery, black and one. Search the library for non-legendary non card. Put it in your graveyard and shuffle. And there we go, foil rare Karth the Lion. It is your four drop, three five human warrior, uh, green, black and two. Uh, when an ETBs or Planeswalker you control dies, look at the top seven cards of your library. You may reveal a Planeswalker card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Planeswalkers' loyalty abilities you activate cost an additional plus one to act activate. Does that mean it just gets an additional plus one? Treasure. So it builds up Planeswalker abilities faster? <laughs> All right, skipping through the commons. We've got Foundation Breaker, Sudden Edict, Prismatic Ending, right into a Riptide Laboratory, your land that taps for color, so you pay a blue, and one tap it, and a wizard, uh, return a target wizard you control to its owner's hand. There we go, Chitter Spitter. Best card in the game, three drop artifact, green and two. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may sacrifice a token. If you do, put an acorn counter on Chitter Spitter. Squirrels you control get plus one, plus one for each acorn counter on Chitter Spitter. Pay a green and tap it. Create a 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature token. And then a foil silver bluff bridge with a squirrel. All right, pack three. Yeah, pack three. There we go. 
And I remember I'm like, draft box. Draft box. There we go. All right. Skipping through your comments. A herd bailoff. Strike it rich. Necromancer's familiar. Bone shredder into. Oh my lord, bruh. All right, y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna send it. Asmorano Mardicada Stinaculaticar. That thing. Asthma car. There we go. There we go. That's the name for it. Asthma car. Asmo car. And a food token. I gave it my best my best try, you guys. But from now on, but that was a once a one-time thing. So from now on, it's asthma car. <laughs> Alright, skipping through the commons. We've got Specimen Collector, Blessed Respite, Radiant Epicure, into a Patriarch's Bidding. Five drop, sorcery, two black and three. Each player chooses a creature type. Each player returns all creature cards of a type chosen this way from their graveyard to the battlefield. That's weird. Nice! There we go. Wasn't a scalding Tarn Keaton, but uh... You got a Misty now, so that's pretty sweet. I was just actually thinking, I was like, I wonder how many fetches is actually common in the draft booster. So, so far, we're at two. We are at two right now. Is it possible to get the retro-framed fetches in the draft boosters? I didn't look into that. I'm... Cause, I, cause, Cause, if not, then I definitely put the wrong pictures up for that, for this break. All right, we got Fast and Furious, Radiant Epicure, Specimen Collector, Flame Rift, into a Mars Flats. I mean, that's pretty sweet too. Back to back fetch lands, so we're now at three fetch lands. Keaton taken two of them with a beast token and still one pack left. Don't tell me there's another fetch in here. All right, skipping through the commons. We've got Raving Visionary, Ether Sworn Sphinx, a Break the Ice, Curion Ranger. Into a Zabaz, the Glimmer Wasp, your one drop legendary insect that's a 0 0 with modular one. If a modular triggered ability would put one or more counters on a creature you control that many, plus one, plus one counters are put on it instead, pay red, destroy target artifact. Pay a white, Zabaz gains flying until end of turn. Neat little card. But what a stack. Two fetch lands, one stack, you guys. That's crazy. Two fetch lands and one stack. I mean, you got a car in there. Chitter Spitter, the best card in the game. Karth the Lion, foil rare. That was a pretty sweet stack. All right, last stack going over to Matt. Stack six at Matt Belvedere. All right. Here we go, Matt. The moment you've been waiting for. All right, we got a Banner Hide Crush Ock. Oh, yeah, I get to go through yours. A Shattered Ego. Lightning Spear. World Weary. A Knighted Myrrh. Chrome Courier. Tarash's Canticle, a Fodder Tosser. I love how they got that little thing in there. Dude looks like he's trying to do it to himself. Uh, Breathless Knight. I was kind of reading the fod Fodder Totter. Fodder Tosser. 
I was just kind of reading the uh, flavor text. Tormod's Crypt Keeper. Into the Uncommons, we got Vectus Gloves. Healer's Flock. That's pretty cool, actually. Three white flying lifelink. It's like Healer's Hawk. That's what they are. They're Healer's Hawks. Yes, sir. Clattering Augur. A Seal of Cleansing. Into a Nykthos Paragon Sketched Rare. Four, six, six drop human soldier. Two white and four. Whenever you gain life, you may put that many plus one counters on each creature you control. Do this only once each turn. Whoa. That's a good card. I like that card a lot. And a crab. Go on to pack two. All right. Now we're skipping through the commons. You've got Fey Offering, Spreading Insurrection, Blossoming Calm, Patchwork Gnomes, into an Ignoble Hierarch. There we go. Your one drop Goblin Shaman, zero one with Exalted. You can tap it and add Black or Swamp Mountain or Forest. That's a good pull right there. Nice. Not a noble hierarch, but an ignoble hierarch. All right, here we go. Pack three, skipping through the commons. You've got a tireless provisioner, kaleidoscorch, filigree attendant, into a wonder. It's a four drop, a blue three, incarnation two two flying. As long as it's in your graveyard and you control an island, creatures you control have flying. Yo, here we go with the Garth One-Eye, Wooberg, Human Wizard 5-5, five, five, tap it. Choose a card name that hasn't been chosen from among Descendant, or Disenchant, Descendant, Brain Geyser, Terror, Shivan Dragon, Regrowth, and Black Lotus. Create a copy of the card with the chosen name. You may cast the copy. Hitting the Garth there, Matt. And a clue token. So that's another mythic. All right, skipping through your commons. You've got a Thraven Watcher, Vidalcan Infiltrator, a Caprich, Caprichrome, Caprichrome, there we go. However you say it. Zurin or Zero Drop, Sacrifice and Land. Oh, gain two life. Sarah's emiss Emissary, another Mythic Rare. Seven Drop, three white and four. Angel 7-7. Seven, seven. With flying, when an ETBs choose a card type, you and creatures you control have protection from the chosen card type. Wow. That's a good card. Beautiful Angel. Absolutely beautiful. Going on to the last two packs. These little draft boxes are pretty sweet, huh? All right, skipping through the commons. We've got a Glorious Enforcer, Glinting Creeper, Combine, or Combine Chrysalis. I said Combine last time, I don't know why. Uh, Moss Salvage. Into a Sylvan Anthem, oh yeah. One of my pre-release promos. Two drop, green, green, enchantment. Green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever a green creature ETBs under your control, scry one. It's actually a pretty decent card. Unless you're not playing green. Sojourner's Companion Foil with a food token. All right, last pack of this break. Not the last Modern Horizons break of the day, but this break. All right, skipping through the commons. Sweep the Skies. I think this is actually a pretty sweet card. Sanctuary Raptor. Constable of the Realm. Mishra's Factory. And to none other than Torash, Torak, Dread Cancer, 2-drop Mythic Rare, 2-1 human, human Cleric. Um, kicker is Swamp Swamp. Protection from White. Whenever an opponent discards a card, put a plus 1 counter on Torak. Uh, Torak. Um, Whenever he ETBs, 
If it was kicked, the target opponent discards two cards at random. What a way to end this break today, right? That was three mythics in that stack. This set is wild, you guys. Absolutely wild. Because, I mean, look at this. Uh, I will be doing collector boxes. I'm just, I'm trying to find like a, a, I'm trying to come up with a good price for it right now. Um, it is very expensive, but I just guess I got to come to that understanding. But I will be doing some collector boxes. I think I'm going to put up a set and collector tomorrow or a drafting collector tomorrow, one of the two. Um, but yeah, for sure. I, I definitely plan on doing Modern Horizons tomorrow also. So, and including collector boosters. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys. Appreciate all of you buying in. Um, you guys have a fantastic day, an even better night at FNM, and a fantastic weekend. And until the next break, uh, 